everybody used to do the Pledge of Allegiance. We used to have prayer in our schools. They used to teach you know, the at Constitution, the end of the day, too. Yeah, I mean, it's well, wait, incredible. Well, and here's, here's the other thing, too, is that, is that and this, kind of, this ties into it 100%, is that there is an attack on identity. I mean, you think back to the hippies of the 60s, right? And you think back, uh, what what it was it they were searching for? You know, the movie Jesus Revolution, I think, did a great job of depicting what was really going on. And they were in a search for something greater than them. They were in a search for truth. Uh, they were looking for an identity. You know, here, we, you know, fast forward to 2023, and we've got this LGBTQ plus whatever, what have you community. Really what it is, it's an attack on identity. Uh, if you think about natural law, for a second, natural law, uh, you know, you can't plug in two plugs to one another and you can't plug into outlets, right? Natural law is you have a plug and an outlet, right? And that, that's, that's natural law. But our identity as men and women, male and female, if we can make that go away, it's only a matter of time before and I think we're dealing with this right now. It's only a matter of yeah. time where our identity as Americans start to go away. And so, one hundred percent, it's it, this is an attack on identity at every single level. What What is your material? position on DEI, Jameson? <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's absolutely evil, and I think it's a, the result of complacency in the American people. So, you know, I, I, I want to push back a little bit on that this kind of happened overnight. I believe that this is something that's happened incrementally over time. And that I think that a lot of the recent events that happened, whether it was the 2020 election or the summer of love or what's happened since, I think a lot of people just woken up to it. I know that in 2020, whenever uh, there was homeschooling that was going on and kids were staying home and parents were getting to see what it was that was actually being taught to their kids. Um, that woke a lot of parents up. And then, you know, and so, but I think this has been an, an incremental thing. And uh, I don't think that it really just happened overnight. Um, but uh, yeah, th again, this is, uh, this is uh, an attack on identity. See, in the declaration, it says that, uh, uh, we have certain unalienable rights that among which are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Keyword there is pursuit. What are they trying to do? They are trying to, to break down our desire to pursue something because if you're a victim, right? If you're a victim and things can just be handed to you, then uh, why pursue anything? So what they're doing is it's an attack on our drive. It's, again, identity. It's an attack on who we are as Americans. It's bringing us to the place where we don't even want to pursue. And it's being shoved down the throats of our kids. And it's getting to a point now where, you know, if you're like me, uh, I like a good beer. But like a lot of the, a lot of the beer companies, you can't even, you know, Anheuser-Busch owns so many stinking beers that, uh, you know, here's what I'll say. Shop local and go to craft breweries. Just make sure that they're not owned by Anheuser-Busch. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, I think people are waking up, which is a good thing. But to go back to your initial question, I think, you know, I, I've said this since, you know, for the last couple of years, is that if we lose our country, it's not going to be because of corruption in the government. It's going to be because of complacency in the electorate. See, what's different about us is that we're not, unlike our founding fathers, we're not fighting for something. We're not fighting for liberty. We're fighting from liberty. And liberty has made us too comfortable. And so, you know, we need to get a little uncomfortable and actually uh, get get after it, get actually fight and do something. And uh, and I think that that's what we're starting to see now is we're seeing people all over America starting to wake up. And, uh, you know, you guys may disagree with me on this, but I say thank, you know, the one good thing that came from COVID, and I say thank God that something good did come from the, all the shutdowns, <laughs> yeah. is that parents started waking up to what was being force-fed down their kids' throats.